you can see that I got a pretty noisy picture that is a noisy background right here. And let's make the use of opacity settings now in order to add display text um, by utilizing uh, shapes and styles. So in order to do that, in order to utilize opacity to the full, I'm going to add in a shape right here. So I'm going to go into add and here uh, I have an option to add in an icon. So I'm going to click on that. And over here, you can see that there's icons. So I'm going to go over here, uh, select the icon of my choice. So there are some frames that I work in, uh, as you can see. So I'm going to choose this frame, click on this, and it'll appear over here. So there is my icon right there. So I'm going to bring it down. And let's say I want to resize this out just like that. So resize, and there you go, keep it in the center. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in uh, some text right there. So I'm going to go for add in text, click on text. And here, let me add in text something uh, like uh, this one, right? So click on that and there you go. The text is here. So let me just drag in the text right here. Let me just resize this out so that I can fit in the text right here. So I got it right center line. So let me just double click this and I'm going to say tutor tube. I'm going to replace it with my text. There you go. So it has been replaced so I can resize it and center align the text just like that. So here is my shape. And what I want to do is now I want to uh, reduce the opacity. So it is kind of transparent and I can see the background. If I really bring down and just uh, keep the text there, you can see that the background is really disturbing and it does not give an effect to the text. So it does not make the text revealing. So if I were to add in the shape right here and reduce the opacity, I can still see the background right here and my text is visible as well, just like that. I can also go around with the color and select the color of my choice. So I'm going to go over here, select the color and there you go. You can see that you can get different effects according to what you want. So I'm going to go over here and then select this color right here. So it is much more visible right there. I'm also going to add in a few more shapes. So let's say, for example, let me go to add and I'm going to add in some icons where I can get my shapes from. Let's say I want this uh, icon right here, which is simply a frame. So I'm going to expand this in size, keep it over here. So this gives a design field right here. I can reduce the opacity so that you, you can see that transparency effect is there right here. Let me add a few more. So I'm going to go into uh, icons right here and let's say I want to add in some designs to it some patterns to it for example this is a pattern so I'm going to click on this and the pattern is here so there you go I'm going to keep this out and the bottom I'm going to duplicate this pattern keep it at the top so I'm going to click on duplicate you can see that now I can keep this pattern on the top right here just like that so I can resize this out as well let me just center align it let me delete this out and I'm going to duplicate this pattern just like this again. I can also resize so that it actually aligns well. Right, there you go. Seems aligned well enough now. So you got a simple design. I can also use opacity right here to make it a bit transparent so I can see the background right there. So really looks like a design right there. All right, so I'm going to go into the design section itself. I can add in a few more text itself. So I'm going to add in some few texts to make it look as if it is a logo. For, for example, this looks like a logo. So I'm going to click click this. I'm going to resize this out. Keep it somewhere around uh, top left, just like that. And I'm going to double click this. Let's say this is going to be tutorial, just like that. And press done. Reduce the opacity. So I'm going to select this out and I'm going to reduce the opacity. So you can see that it kind of looks like the logo right there. So I'm going to, I can add a few more text, few more photos right there. So I'm going to go into icons and here I'm going, I can add in uh, some sidelines right here. For example, um, I can go around, I can click this. So this is another shape that I can use. There you go. So this looks completely like a design. Reduce the opacity and I can see the background. So you can clearly see that how we can utilize opacity to actually bring down uh, the transparency. So I can increase the transparency by using the opacity settings and can come up with great designs by using a few simple steps. So that's how you can use the opacity settings inside of uh, Adobe Spark. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.